Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm back with another Ascended Master message. Hopefully, I won't rattle too many pages. This one is a personal favorite of mine um, because he's touched my heart from many years ago uh, when I read Autobiography of a Yogi. It's Paramahansa Yogananda. And it he touched my heart so much, just in every word, I had a real connection. And it's funny, he passed away on March 7th, which is the day I was born, but he died two years before I was born. So this is his message, which seems profound. So Ascended Master, uh, Paramahansa Yogananda, his message, message begins. Dear ones, this is a message of hope and the knowingness and ability to see what is in front of you and yet make no judgment. This is imperative for the higher frequencies that resonate with love. Please maintain a loving heart. This is your mission. And it is the most important work you will ever do, for this will affect not only you, the people you meet, the planet at large, and yes, ultimately the universe. I love you all very deeply and am holding the space for your evolution to the higher frequencies of love. This is with great tenderness, I say this, a very tall order in today's world but my beloveds, you are ready to take on the mantle of peace and love because you sense the very essence of life would shift in an instant with this left in the balance. I devotedly live in the divine source energies, the God source, and I ask you to do the same. You may call upon me, Paramahansa Yogananda, to assist you with devotion and deep love for the oneness that is the God source. This is what I ask of you all, for I know you are able to hear this message and resonate with the deep love of divine source God. While I was on the earth, I was fortunate to have a great teacher appear to me, Mahavatar Babaji, I was so overwhelmed by his deep love and lessons he taught of devotion. I ask this of you now. Please deeply devote yourself to your oneness with divine source, God, through the gateway of open heart energies. Allow for this to envelope your chakras and full energy field. As for as you live your life in this manner, you will bring others this gift. No greater gift can be bestowed than this. Love is everything. Love is divine source God. Be mindful, be aware, and bring your higher self, the soul self, in daily. How you accomplish this is to picture a ball of silver and gold light about a foot above your crown chakra. So like about here. Pull that ball of silver and gold light into your crown and down through your entire body, seeing it fill every cell. Now bring this silver gold light down through your feet and into Mother Earth to anchor it within the core center of Mother Earth. Do this every day. Even if you are sitting on a bus and have only two minutes to spare, this changes everything and allows you to operate from your higher self. Thy will be done, not my will, is to say, not my ego self, but my God source connected self shall drive my vehicle. Choices made after this realignment are made from the God source and in alignment with your divine plan, which was decided by you and your team before you incarnated. 
The you who is in charge of your life, let it be the God source you, not the ego you. That is making that is making the decisions. How will you know the difference? Sorry for the noise. <laughs> There's a lot of pages. You'll know the by the fact that there is an absence of fear-based thoughts, which are a product of ego. Limiting thoughts, self-doubt are ego products. So my dear ones, the choice to align every day with your higher self, soul self, is easy, for its very presence will engage you in joy, wholeness, and complete alignment with your highest good. This is your divine birthright, the connection with divine source God while embodied on the earth. In deepest love and compassionate embrace, I am Paramahansa Yogananda, your devoted teacher. And that's the end of the transmission. And before I started channeling his message, um, I always ask and I pull a temperance card. I pull the card, which happened to be the temperance card. And it's always the most appropriate card. And in Latin, temperance means to mix. So the key word with temperance card is called the alchemy of life, the magical blending of body and spirit. So could it get any better than that? It brings transformation of an ordinary person into an enlightened one. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, oh my God, I can't believe you guys showed up. <laughs> Amanda, Linda, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Um, oh yeah, I will get to Lady Nada, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, she's on my list and one of the people I work with. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, oh, Cloud, I'm reading your comment. Uh, so glad that you got what you needed from this, um, really. And thank you guys for showing up, Amanda and Linda and Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm just thankful to have gotten at least two messages out tonight. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day um, uh, with other things, so maybe I can squeeze another one in. But I, I have quite a few already, and I have Mother Mary. She's actually on the list. Let me look where hers falls in. I have my notebook here. Oh, I have. Mary is next. Then after Mary, I've got White Eagle. He's an Ascended Master. White Eagle. Um, and I think I have somebody after that, too. But... <laughs> I got behind. <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you so much, you guys, for showing up. And um, it encourages me. And I hope that you have a lovely night. Oh, you know White Eagle. Oh, my gosh. White Eagle. He just randomly showed up, and I was so excited because <laughs> I've read uh, quite a few of his books. So, yeah. I was excited. But anyway, yeah, Mother Mary is next. So hope maybe tomorrow I'll be able to get hers out. But thank you all for showing up. <laughs> I love you all so much. Um, you give me divinely inspired energy. <laughs> thank you, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>